to Connecticut now, where there are new developments in the case of missing mother of five, Jennifer Dulos. Her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, has been arrested and charged with kidnapping and murder. Dulos is expected to be arraigned today. So CBS News correspondent Mola Lenghi is outside of the uh, state courthouse in Stamford. Uh, Mola, the arrest warrants uh, reveal some stunning details. You know, many people were wondering what's happening with this case. Now it seems to be moving forward. That's right, uh, Anne Marie. Investigators believe that Fotis Dulos killed his wife, Jennifer, the day that she disappeared and then recruited his then girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, to help her clean up, help him clean up, I should say. Uh, Traconis allegedly told police before Jennifer vanished that Fotis often told her, sometimes I hope she disappears. Police swarmed Fotis Dulos' Connecticut mansion Tuesday, taking the 52 year old away in handcuffs on charges of murder and kidnapping. Norm Pattis is his attorney. We welcome this fight because we think we will win it. Police believe Dulos killed his estranged wife, Jennifer, at her home the morning of May 24th. A friend reported her missing after she didn't show up to an appointment. Police say they have surveillance video showing Dulos and his ex-girlfriend, Michelle Traconis, dumping evidence later that day. According to a newly released arrest warrant, police say they found a garbage bag which tested positive for the DNA of Fotis and Jennifer Dulos, as well as Traconis. Inside it were zip ties investigators believe Dulos used to restrain Jennifer. They also allegedly found other items like a sponge, mop handle, and a black garden glove. Her body has not been found. Andrew Bauman is Traconis's lawyer. She uh, has always been extremely cooperative and, um, you know, we'll have to deal with these charges in court. Authorities say Traconis was not truthful in police interviews and frequently changed her story. A friend of Fotis is also now implicated on a conspiracy charge. A six-foot hole discovered on property connected to Kent Mowany was described by one person who found it as 100% a human grave. Investigators found no evidence of remains. Cell phone records allegedly show Mowany had contact with Fotis the day Jennifer disappeared. In his arrest warrant, police say in interviews with him, he was frequently vague or evasive, at times self-contradictory. Meanwhile, Dulos's attorney cast doubt Tuesday on whether Jennifer is really even dead. I don't know whether she's dead or alive. There's circumstantial evidence that she may well be dead. I've got to see the quantity of that. <clears throat> All right, so, Mola, Fotis Dulos is expected to be arraigned today. What can we expect to hear in court? That's right, Anne-Marie. That arraignment is going to happen later this morning where a judge will set bond, not just for Fotis Dulos, uh, but also Michelle Traconis and the uh, attorney, uh, Kent Mowney, who is an attorney as well as a friend uh, of Fotis Dulos. Uh, Fotis Dulos' bond is uh, expected to be set at about $6 million. Uh, his attorney told us yesterday he will likely post that bond and be released. Uh, meanwhile, Traconis as well as Mowney's bonds uh, will be set uh, at about $2 million. Both of them are facing a conspiracy to commit murder charges. And we should point out uh, that Dulos' attorney as well as Traconis' attorney both point out, uh, or I should say both insist, uh, that their clients are innocent. Anne-Marie. All right, Mola, thank you very much.